This house is supposedly haunted, and the family room reportedly has the most activity out of anywhere. As you can see in this close-up shot, there is nothing out of the ordinary about this mirror at all. But once the paranormal investigation is underway, a woman's colorless face appears in the upper left quadrant. She is staring directly at the camera with two black holes for eyes her thin lips and nose clearly visible. As far as I can see, there is nothing in the room that could cast such a strangely vivid reflection. This YouTube channel is just a random string of letters and numbers that may or may not spell out some sort of hidden message. There's one video that's especially strange. Someone is furiously pedaling around a neighbor while panting. apparently lost and possibly being pursued. The next video is of someone watching two other people from afar and from behind some shrubbery. I'm not sure if this video is real or not, because they would obviously be able to see this person from this angle in my opinion, but maybe they were just ignoring him or truly didn't notice. If the person filming here is the same person that was on the bike, then I think they may have serious problems. After not posting for over seven years, the channel started uploading content again a month ago. Maybe now there will be more clues revealing the mystery behind these videos. This ghost video from a bus station in Sydney, Australia has everyone convinced it's real. Even the camera equipment itself. A shadowy mist floats across the upper right monitor, and soon motion tracking equipment puts a bright orange box around it to confirm. It eventually floats off the monitor, at which point it should show up on the other monitor to the left, but nothing appears. Go on. Look at that. The motion sensor tries to track it for a bit longer and then gives up. It has simply vanished. If you're out paddleboarding, watch your sea legs. Published in April of 2022, YBS Youngbloods writes, a humbling reminder for myself that it's their ocean and I'm just a visitor. The paddle boarder is at first enamored with a giant sea turtle. But soon that excitement turns to panic. A huge shark is seen making his way over and passes below the man's board. When the shark does this, the last place you'd want to be right now is in the water. While many in the comments are panicking, Commenter Jethro X has a different perspective. He writes, For anyone wondering, this is just how we have fun in Australia. It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track, occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter backs up slowly while the commuter train has managed to brake hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. Up Scotty published to YouTube in June of 2019. This CCTV footage reveals a possible spirit captured on video in Port Moresby that same year. The footage shows an intersection that looks to be on the outskirts of the city, probably from restaurants or shops that are still open at night. Street lamps illuminate the roadway, blinking on and off as a truck turns at the crossroads. Then something strange and out of place appears. On one corner of a median, a ghostly glowing mist manifests before rising upwards and out of sight. On closer inspection, the small figure appears humanoid, glowing at its core. But what is it, and where did it go? If you ever question the paranormal, maybe test your skepticism with this video. 
This footage was captured in the Czech Republic and posted in January of 2012. The uploader writes, this footage will prove once and for all ghosts exist. The clip shows a snowy road in the darkness of night. A car is stalled in the road as blizzard-like conditions swirl all around. Then in front of it, a semi-transparent figure appears. There is a glow at the top of what would be its head, like a flame. It stops in the middle of the camera's purview before disappearing again. Some of the comments note that the thing, whatever it is, is moving in the opposite direction as the wind in the snow. Commenter Denise M. Sanders suggests it was a person who was hit while crossing the road and passed away on the scene. Many agree that this looks like legit paranormal activity. What do you think? Basements are where hidden secrets are kept in the dark, old memories and keepsakes of things that are too scary for the surface and would get you some strange looks. Basements often serve as a place for troubled minds to explore the scariest facets of the human imagination. A YouTuber named Jonathan Wickholm goes exploring the basement of his girlfriend's apartment building because it's creepy and old and he suspects scary stuff is down there. He's not wrong. So James agreed, the moment you walk in this room, it's creepy. It makes no sense. Over by James, there's a random stool and a microwave that, is it plugged in? No. Okay. So, it gets weirder. In the center of the room is a large cedar wood box. On the outside is a door that unlocks only from the outside. Sticking out the top of the mysterious nondescript box is a pipe for giving someone air. And when he opens it, this is what it is. It is a small room with chairs. It's nothing else. He finds a small hidden room where someone can be kept secret down here without anyone going down to find them for a long time. What was being kept down here? I fear I already know the answer. James, look at this. James, look at this. There's scratch marks. There are legit scratch marks. There are f***ing scratch marks. Drilled into the ceiling of the secret prison place are holes that look like they were put there for further ventilation. A YouTube channel called The Paranormal Detectives investigates the Morton Corbet Castle in England. A man named Paul Holmyard cursed this property after his exile sometime during the late 1500s. And centuries later, his curse still apparently stains these walls. The paranormal detective set up two haunted dolls of their own to act as spiritual condents for anything nearby. Not only does one of their dolls, Elizabeth, fall over, but this strange black line begins leaking from its neck onto the wall behind. Fully stretched out at 1 minute and 53 seconds, it almost looks like some kind of tentacle or even a parasite. Is this special effects, or could we be witnessing a spiritual entity caught on camera while leaving Elizabeth? Ghost Towns Are Abandoned For A Reason, published to YouTube by Ricky Velasquez in May of 2020. Ricky claims the devil appeared, writing in Spanish, I have no words to describe what happened. I don't think I can forget. This was filmed in a town in Mexico with around 250 residents. It's ostensibly a ghost town, and the duo's exploration of it is enough to run you out of town too. After doing some sort of ritual in the yard, outside an abandoned building, involving liquid being sprayed, and fire being lit, the pair wanders around the grounds, as the cameraman takes in the surroundings in infrared mode, he spots something that gives him a fright. He decides to get out of there, hurrying down a dirt path. That's when he happens upon this. El Diablo disappears, but you can still feel him there. It's no wonder Ricky cannot forget. Moral of the story, if you call him, he will come. This video of a girl brushing her teeth is said to have been found behind a dumpster by a nearby worker taking a break. Deep voices on the tape sound like they must have been slowed down, but her toothbrush sounds normal, so I don't know what's going on here at all. After 14 seconds of this, movement is heard off camera and she is ambushed by something that sounds not of this world. 
I get the impression that she was not aware that she was being recorded because she never looks at the camera. Maybe it was even taken on the other side of a one-way mirror or through a hole in the wall. Jack Cook's son Michael has been acting strange for days, not like himself at all. He is normally a happy child, but he is visibly agitated during his birthday and seems to channel all of his anger into a single act of defiance when it comes time to blow out the candles. Day to you. Michael, make a wish. Cheer up, big guy. Cheer up. His father can't believe what he just witnessed and orders his son to do it again. Sure enough, Michael somehow is controlling the flames with his mind. The obvious answer is somebody is blowing out the candles off camera, but I don't hear anything. Watch the father's explanation and tell me if you think his emotions are real or simply good acting skills. It's been a week now since Michael went into the hospital and <laughs> doctors don't know what's wrong with him. Claire Julian has a guest over when they both notice her paper dragon wall ornament is swaying slightly. Zoom in and you'll see the very bottom swings back and forth, hardly noticeable unless you really were looking. There is no draft and the air conditioner is not on. They aren't sure what to make of it, so Claire half-jokingly challenges the ghosts to do better, which I'm not so sure was a good idea. You have to do better than that. Thank you. I was thinking that this movement could have been the minute hand of the clock hanging behind it, but Claire says that this clock doesn't work anymore, and now that I think about it, I didn't hear any ticking. Therefore, I think Claire probably has a poltergeist in her home, one that she should stop challenging. A doll that speaks is not mysterious, but a doll that speaks when it has no batteries certainly is. That's apparently exactly what this doll can do. If someone could please tell me what brand of doll this is, and also translate what is being said here, then maybe we can help solve this mystery. <laughs> they examine the doll for a hidden battery compartment and ultimately find nothing. Ever tried to poke a thread through the eye of a needle? Well, that's basically what bus drivers do on Needles Highway in South Dakota. This video is not for the claustrophobic. Highway 87 near Rapid City, South Dakota, and Custer State Park earned its nickname due to its narrow, single-lane roads, deadly, defying twists and turns, and of course, the needles, which are narrow, granite tunnels that vehicles navigate. That is, if their drivers have got the guts. The tunnels were created by blasting through mountains, forming walls of sheer rock on either side. Believe it or not, some buses attempt the crazy feat of driving their big hauls through the narrow tunnels. These drivers show no fear as they prepare to undertake a Mission Impossible level task of weaving down this dangerous road while also looking out for falling rocks. Just watching makes you hold your breath in anticipation. But never fear, slowly but surely. This particular driver succeeded with only inches of room to spare on either side of the tunnel. A famous Malaysian YouTuber caught some supremely scary moments on live stream that have left him and all of his followers really freaking out. It's just another normal night at his house, spending time with roommates. When they get an idea to see who is the bravest, they've been suspecting their house was haunted for a long time and dare each other to go room to room with the lights off. Off. The first two rooms are fine, but just when it looks like this was all for nothing, some scary things are caught on camera. <laughs> Standing in the corner of the room is a silent spirit that Malaysian culture refers to as 
A pokong, a sighting of one of these spirits, can be seen as a cry for help. They need to have someone undo their shroud so within 40 days, they can be freed from this world. With that in mind, I really don't blame him from running away instead of running forward. I don't think I would have the courage to undo its binds and withstand the rotten figure beneath. Seeing one in their own home must have been terrifying. Next time you're confronted by voices in a haunted house, you should probably just skip town. Redditor Alex underscore Paranormal TV posted the scary paranormal investigation to the Chills Narrator subreddit. It was originally posted on YouTube in February of 2020. The house being explored is a Coal Harbor house in London. As Alex Paranormal explains, we investigate the Cold Harbor house that no one wants to live in because of the extreme activity and what resides inside the Shadow Man. The exploration turns up loads of paranormal activity. At 8.53 in the video, Alex mumbles something as they're exploring, to which a disembodied voice answers, Yeah. A little later, after setting up the spirit box, it either moves or falls over on its own at 16 minutes 7 seconds. Who are you? A short time after, at 16 minutes 55 seconds, an evil laugh occurs as the team attempts to speak with the spirits. Is this your room? Where are you? The laughter occurs again at around 22 minutes 9 seconds. <laughs> and at 22 minutes 49 seconds, a grunt can be heard. You just grunt then? Who was that? Was that you? As they're talking about the grunt, a very audible knock sounds on the adjacent door at 23 minutes 35 seconds. They continue to explore the haunted house. While they're in a hallway, about to enter another room, a door slams at 26 minutes 55 seconds. Oh, hold on. Is that you? No. Continuing in their exploration after a while, they discover an old Tonka truck in a room. When one guy asks if that's an old Tonka toy, a disembodied voice at 31 minutes 52 seconds answers, Yeah. Look at that. That's an old Tonka toy, isn't it? What is? A number of other disembodied voices are noted throughout the video, as if the house was whispering a secret to them. If only they just listen. What was it trying to tell them? And what would you do in a house that talks to you? I just moved. A weird security video from southeastern Nigeria has been freaking people out since October of 2019. Animals seem to disappear in this haunted alleyway, and then it happens to someone who they've long suspected of being a witch. <laughs> I think these security guards were bored and playing a joke. Notice how the yellow playback bar suddenly skips ahead whenever something disappears. It's pretty obvious that some editing has occurred. So my final analysis is no, this video is not real. What do you think though? Sometimes that mysterious noise is your haunted ice maker. Other times things are even more chilling than they seem. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Oran Javi and originally posted to TikTok by Perishka. This one is sure icy. According to the TikToker, she was intending to capture a scary sound her ice machine kept making on camera, but instead she got a lot more than she bargained for. As she walks from the living room to the kitchen, for a split second while the lights are off, you see a little girl standing there in the darkness next to the ice machine. Watch carefully. It's just for the slightest of moments moments before the light flicks on and she disappears. The girl is pale and dressed in black with long black hair. She stands there motionless before vanishing into thin air with the light. Coupled with this is the eerie sound the ice machine truly was making. It sounds like the windy moans of a ghost. 
Tima 2013 writes in the comments, I have that same ice machine. It does not make that sound. Yikes. Yikes is right. You never know who is waiting in the darkness for you. This CCTV video captures some strange activity after hours, beginning with the pages of this magazine that move all on their own, almost like someone is flipping them just like any other day in the waiting room. You probably thought this was the work of a ghost and I did too, but if so, then you and I are both wrong. In the center of the room forms a swirling tornado, Look at how the chairs move at exactly one minute. The ones in the eye of the storm are safe for a little bit longer. This is definitely a tornado and not the work of a spirit. But how does a tornado seemingly form in the middle of a room? Maybe this is a poltergeist destroying the whole building after all. This kayak is surrounded by water for miles, and yet a tiny head or tentacle or something pokes up directly ahead and then goes back underwater. Maybe it's a beaver or a turtle, but the way it stays just out of sight but in their path is really weird. A garbage man in New York City leaked this video online to show us a scary side of the industry that we were never meant to see. He needs to pull this dumpster down an alley to the garbage truck. Most of us would walk right up and grab the handle, but the veteran worker does something important first. He kicks the dumpster and waits. That's because out here you can get surrounded by a mob of rats if you walk up to their territory without giving them a heads up. Kicking makes them scatter away. Come on, bro. Come on. Get your stuff together and get out of here. Get all your boys. Get all your boys. Let's go. Yeah. This dumpster must not have much food in it because only a few run away instead of dozens like normal. Now comes the hard part. Now we're going to attempt to move the can. He gives a sharp tug and lets go. When nothing confronts him, he proceeds. He gets halfway down the alley when something creepy decides to make his day twice as difficult. Still, still, still. Come on, bro. You gotta go. Can't go back in there. This one is smaller than the rest, but it's stuck around longer than the others and seems twice as territorial. It starts to run away and then it gets another idea. I'm not sure if he fell over or dropped the camera, but the rat, scared and caught up in the moment, jumped straight at him. It looks like an aggressive move rather than just trying to get away. That rat did not want to give up its dumpster. This is why garbage men are paid more than teachers, jokes the top comment of this video. I'm not sure if this statement is true, but after seeing this video, do you agree with it or not? And if this is how crazy just one rat acts, imagine how scary it would be to get chased down an alleyway by a whole swarm of them. Talk about a tough and thankless job. Michael Luongo catches a shapeless form floating around his basement that he can't explain. You can see it best during the first five seconds of the video when one half stands out against the stabs. It's also barely visible in the reflection of the television here at 10 seconds. And when Michael turns back at the stairs, it's already gone. I'm thinking that there might be something wrong with the camera to make this blurry object appear. But then again, it does happen to be floating right above this access panel behind the sofa. So maybe Michael should open it up and see if anything is waiting for him in the wall. Is this a goblin? An extraterrestrial? Whatever it is, it's trending in the Brazilian YouTube community. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, the video shows a gangly creature sitting dejectedly at the foot of stadium seating.
It's hard to tell what this creature is, even more so after it looks up at us. Its glowing eyes and pointed ears do tell us one thing, it's not human. It moves to get up. And when it stands, you see just how gangly it is. Its long, thin limbs are barely able to lift its large, barrel-like body, but looks can be deceiving. On its feet, it turns out that it's quite nimble. <laughs> that sound was terrifying. We can assume the cameraman lived to share this footage, but we can't assume he didn't pee his pants in the process. <laughs> the footage looks real enough to be considered authentic. Even the creature's shadow seems to fall in accordance with all other shadows in frame. But this is, in fact, a production. I tracked down the original source, JJPD Producciones, which specializes in CGI. I'm happy to find that this creepy goblin doesn't exist in reality. At least I hope. While this man was checking his home CCTV at night, he captured something he didn't expect. Published by Scary Desk in November of 2021, the scary video shows the man setting up his camera and checking that it's angled well in his yard. But as he's doing so, look behind him. A creepy creepy face peeks out from behind a bush in the background. It remains in view even as a car passes by behind it. The face then slowly disappears back behind the bush. A closer look shows the creature's bizarre features. While it looked human from far away, it doesn't exactly look that way close up. Is this being wearing a mask? And why is it hiding? Whatever is going on here, it seems this man set up his security cameras just in time. This group of friends decides to go into an old middle school that's rumored to be haunted. The building has only recently been abandoned, and it's still in relatively good condition. So there's not much to say until they come to one section of the school that's much darker and filled with mold. The group still feels safe in their large numbers down here, and they bravely trudge through a series of musty hallways. They don't see anything out of the ordinary, but when they put the video on YouTube later, Somebody points out a possible shadow figure in the distance during this part in particular. I personally think that it could just be stacked debris, but then again, I can somewhat make out the faint outline of a shadow that's roughly the size of a child. The more I look at it, the more I can notice its legs and head in particular. Let me know if you agree, or if you think I'm looking into the situation too deeply. A YouTuber named NoahDB5 hopes to find creepy haunted places to explore around his campus, and so Randonautica takes him to a nearby cemetery. But not just any cemetery. Oh god, there's more screaming as we're approaching the graveyard. A cemetery with scary screaming noises at night. And later on, while exploring a different area, he hears the same scary noises again, this time from deeper within the woods. Okay, guys, hold on. I'm not kidding. Something from the forested area, we're hearing noises right now. I hope it happens again because it's right by the river. So it could, what, what is that, dude? This sounds like it could be some kind of wild animal to me, but other people are saying that this could be a mysterious creature like the rake, and that he is most likely being followed. Noah has asked if you would subscribe to his channel and check out his other videos like this one. While playing a virtual reality game, this dude leveled up. YouTuber Mario Lara posts this video of what appears to be a tiny being entering into his virtual reality. Watch the doorway behind him. At first, it looks like a small child. but it moves too fast to be anything human. 
has a figment from this man's game stepped into his reality? I think that maybe what's happening here, or maybe we've all become so digitally disconnected from reality that we're glitching into the matrix. Mind blown. This rare Russian creature is being called everything from a mole to a troll. The phone quality is too poor to make out much more than a tiny humanoid hand and a small face. Whatever this is, it doesn't behave much like a mole, which I doubt would stay above ground with two humans so close. Anyway, try to translate this conversation if you can, and let me know if they ever say what kind of creature this is. Quantos Só um. Aí pra trás tem mais quantos? Sela quatro e a ala. Bora, bota a cara pra cima aí. At the 15 second mark, you can see its hand more clearly, and it does look like it could have a well developed thumb, which would exclude it from belonging to most species. With that said, I think it could perhaps be a baby possum, which do have opposable thumbs and sometimes like to burrow underground. I could be wrong though, and even after almost 100,000 views, nobody seems to have come up with a concrete answer. A YouTube channel called Mux9TV goes exploring some extra scary woods in Pakistan late at night when they find some really creepy stuff that leaves them really freaked out. Out of the woods staggers a mysterious figure who refuses to speak for a long time. His eyes look haunting, like he's seen too much in too short a time and has been wandering for days, unable to get it out of his mind. The group does not know how else to help this person, and so they recite some words of faith over him, which works to the extent of scaring him away back to wherever he came from. This doesn't look like a ghost sighting, so much as the aftermath of a person who has had a paranormal experience of their own in the forest and has succumbed to madness in the days since. Either way, they're definitely not the type of person you'd want to encounter in the woods, so I bet the group is relieved when he runs away, but at the same time, he could probably use some help. Hopefully, he finds peace, but with that scary stare, I don't see how such a thing is going to be possible. This footage is terrifying to any cyclist on the road. Published in April of 2022, Cycling Mikey writes, the footage was given to me by a subscriber who asked me to make the video available. In case anyone knows this man and is willing to give his details, he had videoed the driver using his mobile phone and the driver took exception to that. Captured at around 10.30 p.m. in July of 2021, the footage shows a cyclist riding as fast as he can from the car in question. He is calling out to any passers-by to call the police. Help me! Call the police! Call the police! Help me! Help me! The car is clearly chasing him. It even drives up on the sidewalk at one point as the cyclist tries to escape. The cyclist luckily eventually loses the driver, pulls into a driveway and drops his bike to the ground. Commenters call this outrageous and criminal behavior. Well, at least one commenter was able to capture the license plate number. Was it enough to find the culprit, or does he have dodgy plates? Sadly, I was never able to find out. A YouTuber named CGA is with her family at a Disney theme park when they decide to turn around and take a quick group video. This split-second decision is all it takes for something bad to happen. One member of the family is standing way too close to the parade float, and the camera catches everything that happens next. It looks like the girl simply loses her balance, but what you can't see is a large wheel going over both her feet. According to the description of this video, the family was forced to pay for medical expenses out of pocket even though they say that no barrier was in place to prevent this from happening. They also claim that the employees kept walking by as if nothing happened, but we'll never know for sure because the video ends shortly after the incident occurs. 
things aren't what they seem in this scary video. Redditor Amanda Loves Rufus One posted this clip of her neighbor's house. Watch the counter closely. Something neon blue seems to escape from the counter. Watch again. It looks like a flame bursting upward, but it disappears within an instant. Those in the comments seem to agree, with some saying it looks like gas igniting. Could this be a gas leak? Or as others suggest, a camera glitch? I think these homeowners should check their carbon monoxide and gas detectors, just in case. It's early in the morning, when somebody wakes up on the wrong side of the bed, and I mean that literally. The silhouette of a hand silently beckons beneath his brother's bed. The uploader of this video says the creepy shadow hand appeared one morning without warning and that it's real. I guess he was too afraid to go under the bed and find out what it was because the video ends then and there. Can't say I blame him. Hopefully somebody is holding their arm over the bed to create an illusion with their shadow of a hand reaching out because otherwise this is just beyond creepy. This TikTok video taken somewhere in India shows a mystery hidden within a window on the first floor. Are the curtains partially pulled back? Or is a figure looking out of a window late at night for no reason at all? A high-powered flashlight is directly on them, yet there is no detail except for its odd outline. Baird Strudwick and his friends are just goofing around at a local trampoline park when they decide it would be funny to cover him in bubble wrap and do some stunts. None of them. Not even Baird expected this gag would almost cost him his life. The green bubble wrap suit definitely looks amusing, but after a while, Baird gets overheated and goes down. They quickly rip the suit off, and Baird says he's feeling okay at first. A little bit later, it becomes obvious that what he's actually feeling is the early onset of heat stroke. Now all of his friends gather around him and try to think of a reasonable plan as Baird sits on a chair with his head hanging low. No, I didn't feel. I was gonna say you could get like a wet towel. Like, so you say out towel in the cold hot out. Hot. That's all you ain't doing too well. If you guys have like a hand towel, you just like. About 40 tense minutes pass before Baird finally recovers enough to film an outro for the video. He is still drenched in sweat and looks woozy, but I'm really glad nothing permanent happened. I will admit that I didn't think anything serious would come from this idea, and the sudden turn of events took me by surprise. Hopefully this video will help us all think twice before attempting anything similar. The next time you look into your baby monitor, you might find an unnerving guardian angel. That's what happened to a friend of XX Blaze and XX who posted this clip to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The redditor writes in the comments, A friend of mine had recently put her child to bed, and she has gone through every single thought of how to justify this figure, but it looks like a little child walking in and around the crib. By the time log on the baby monitor, you can see it's around 9.40pm, and if you look closely, you'll catch a ghost white shadow figure walk around the back of the crib as the baby sleeps on. The figure creeps around one side of the crib before pacing back to the head of the crib and coming slightly around the other side. Then it moves back. At the end of the clip, it appears most visible, leaving its sentinel spot, probably in order to make itself a sandwich. What was this phantom caretaker doing? Do you think it's a friendly guardian? Or does the babysitter have evil intent? Whatever the case, safeguard that baby. It's better Better to be safe than sorry. Filmed in Canada, this footage has some wondering if this is real. Posted by TikToker Flamecatcher2, in short, it is very real but super rare. Popular Mechanics explains that they are produced by heat plumes stretching miles into the atmosphere and colliding. Only a few anomalies have been recorded prior to this eerie clip. In fact, over the last several years, there have been a number of sightings both in 2018 and 2019. As they become more prominent, scholarly papers investigate how they are formed. This is but one case of it being caught on video, and as some TikTokers thinking this is the most terrifying thing ever, Master Sloth Gaming asks, Has anyone tried 
tried turning the world off and back on again? Now that's a valid question. A paranormal investigator from India named Deep Tea Vlog and her ghost hunting crew go exploring what in their words is one of the most haunted places in all of Madhya Pradesh. It's a long trek through some scary woods just to get there and they are also quite sure some creepy things will be caught on camera before the night is through. Oh, in the distance, they see a figure walking slowly off the beaten path, and then it just sort of mysteriously disappears into the darkness. All of them run much faster than the figure was moving, but when they get to where they had just had the ghost sighting, they find an empty clearing and nothing more. A YouTuber named Braveburn is by himself checking out an old abandoned house rotting in the forest. Behind a creepy mold covered door and down some old wooden steps he finds a basement that looks far from safe. He pokes around downstairs for less than a minute before he finds a false sense of wall that leads to a lonesome hidden room. Soon he comes across a bunch of miscellaneous extension cords tangled together on a broken bench. Why anyone would need that much power to this tiny room is anyone's guess. It's almost like someone was being kept down here, possibly against their will. Brave Burn shines a flashlight down a narrow square hole and chances upon a tuft of golden straw-like material. I'm really hoping that this is insulation and not human hair. He quickly leaves without checking, so I guess we'll never find out. Adam McIntyre travels from Ireland to London to investigate the Woodrow High House, a house said to be haunted by the grieving ghost of a widow named Lady Helena Stanhope who has been endlessly roaming these hallways since the 1600s. Adam and his ghost hunting pals think they encounter the spirit lady haunting this hallway, and I think they could be right. And immediately the door starts like opening and closing. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> no, I'm actually scared. Wait. There's literally no draft here. Wait. I don't like it. Oh. <gasps> don't scream. Oh my God. Adam is freaking out because a ghost is slamming doors in the same hallway where he will be spending the night. He mentions Helena nicely by name, treating her like a person rather than a sideshow attraction. This is my bedroom corridor, so I don't want her, like, Helena. And Helena the ghost responds by closing the door gently instead of slamming it shut like before. The three of them are really scared so they don't go right away, but they do briefly explore the room from the door and I don't see anyone standing there. As they stand breathlessly outside, it becomes more than apparent that an apparition does not want to let them in. <laughs> Finally, the nervous trio works up the courage to enter the haunted room and conduct a little paranormal experiment of their own for more evidence. They lock the door to prove that it really is slamming the door and not a draft. After a while, like proper lock it. Oh, is it the one? Kaylin, Kaylin, is it Unfortunately, Adam's head is blocking the lock when it happens, so we never get to see how the ghost manages to open the door, or if it was one of them all along. On occasion, images caught on a baby monitor can give you pause. Other times, they're downright paralyzing. Published to TikTok by Martin, the TikToker thinks this is a monster. A baby is turning restlessly in his crib. You can see a dark form at the head of the crib, but it's not yet clear if it's just an innocuous shadow cast by something in the room. But as the baby turns onto his stomach, two glowing eyes blink open and thin, smoky fingers reach into the crib from the side. Is this a spirit? An alien? A monster? A human intruder? Whatever it is, get that baby out of there and fast. A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known as Explorer Abdullah Al Anzi goes investigating a haunted mansion that has been abandoned for a long time. Strange paranormal activity begins in the courtyard. Rahman, 
decades of decay have worn this place into little more than roomfuls of rubble that he is determined to explore. As he is wondering how many floors this building has, he realizes he is far from alone. He's exploring the basement when he hears something in a commanding voice. If you know what was said, then fill us in too. He isn't sure where it's coming from, so he looks all around. Right before Abdullah turns around, something strange is caught on camera looking at him at 16 minutes and 23 seconds. A spirit or a creature with a single glowing eye. The voice is never heard again, so he thinks it's a jinn. Based on the paranormal evidence he's caught on camera, I think he's probably correct. While trying to communicate with a boy ghost named Georgie, YouTube team GHOST gets the scare of their lives. Listen for the bang. Georgie? Are you here, Georgie? Look at all the pretty, pretty, uh, Look at all the pretty lights on the, on the wall. Either the ghost Georgie is a regular bookworm or he's sending them a message. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. 100% not because I was recording the whole time. Hell. Hold up, man. Oh, hello? What's right there behind you? The video ends there, but I'm dying to know what the book was and what the page it landed on read. I'm sure the answers lie therein. This Iraqi child is unique from her peers in many different ways because her skin and hair have no pigmentation at all, but most importantly, her eyes are pure red. The reason she squints into the camera is because her red eyes absorb all of the light instead of reflecting it. Her parents see this rare eye color as a blessing, but some see it as a curse. After all, red eyes are a nearly universal sign of possession in many cultures, though I doubt this is the case here. Some superstitious folks will no doubt be wary of her before they have a chance to better understand. Her red eyes will stay this way for the rest of her life and hopefully cause her no social stigma. A young woman was walking home late at night when she was met with a worst case scenario. Someone was following her. Posted to TikTok by Carolina Judah, the TikToker captures a montage of her journey from the foggy streets to the bus to a dark walk on her road home. A man is seen standing behind the bus stop. He is nothing but a shadow. She says she ignored him and just continued walking. Capturing a shot between her though, she finds that he's trailing her about 20 feet away. As the journey continues, he seems to be speeding up and in fact, he gets closer. He appears to be wearing a hood. Carolina says he began shouting something at her and she thought he'd been drinking. He falls behind a ways and as soon as she rounds a bend, she sprints home. Although she couldn't see him anywhere when she arrived, 20 minutes later she heard the doorbell at the gate. She called her mom but there was no answer and outside her window she spotted the man standing just outside the gate. The man later jumped the gate, crossed the garden and tried yanking on the door handle. Carolina locked herself inside the bathroom waiting for her parents to arrive. He eventually stopped but she stayed put, too afraid to move. In the video's comments, TikTokers suggest not to walk home when you're being followed, but rather lead the stalker to someplace with people and or bright lights. This route looked like it had neither, so what should she do in this case? Any suggestions? This video is taken on a creature expedition deep in the woods of Alabama. Is this an unknown creature caught on tape? They think they see a figure hiding between two trees, and when they zoom in for a closer look, they hear a deep noise.
Well, some people think this is a cryptid noise. I'm pretty sure it's just the sound of the zoom lens going in and out of focus. Do you think this is a creature sighting they've caught on camera? I think they were just creeped out in some admittedly scary woods. A South Korean ghost hunter named Tosachi is exploring a haunted house where seven people met a fateful end, including a husband and wife. The inside is weird and creepy in his words and give the paranormal investigator goosebumps to explore. He knows that multiple spirits are close, he can sense them, and then one of them gets his attention. Boyo. Faint knocking sounds behind him are from a ghost at the window begging to be let in. This relic is keeping them away. It's a stick with thorns which, in South Korean culture, is said to keep the spirits from entering when placed above the entrance. Isso, isso. Every time he tries to go outside and catch a ghost on tape, his motion tracking software keeps freezing, a sign that they are near. The spirits are waiting for him to remove the relic and let them back inside where they belong. He removes the stick and waits. They walk in through the front door. and he feels a rising horror as one passes through him. Oh, but unfortunately, his paranormal equipment continues to shut off just before the ghost sighting is caught on tape. Finally, when he gets it back on, a ghost appears in the dark hallway. There is nothing on the screen to mistake for a person, just total darkness, and yet the ghost hunting equipment identifies a mysterious shadow figure moving past. And when Tosachi returns to the window where he heard knocking noises before, he sees another full-fledged ghost figure in the window. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, it stands in the hall, apparently glad to be allowed inside again. It climbs up to sit in the window and, at 19 minutes and 29 seconds, appears to wave hello. Scary, right? A kid in Russia is crossing the hall when he comes across a goblin-like home intruder that seems only to appear when the lights are off. I don't think this is real because I don't know why he would be randomly filming from this angle unless it was for something planned out. Even though this is almost certainly fake, he still does the right thing by noping out of there backwards. Forget about grabbing the camera. It's not worth the extra steps. The historical Winchester Mystery House was basically built to be a nightmare. The Queen Anne-style Victorian mansion in San Jose, California was the personal residence of heiress Sarah Winchester, who started building it in 1886 and didn't stop until her passing in 1922. Not having a master plan, the enormous mansion features such oddities as secret passageways, staircases to nowhere, and hidden rooms. The home is said to be haunted. Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Resident Science 525 the scary video may have captured one of them. The footage shows a short staircase leading up to an exit in the Winchester Mystery House. As the camera pans for a moment, a semi-transparent figure moves past the staircase. The Redditor writes that there are no windows or air vents in the hallway, and no reflective surfaces. So what is this? Or should we say who? When you're babysitting, sometimes you feel like someone may be in the house, watching you. This TikTok video will have you double checking that all your doors are locked. The dude in the video, TikTok handle Tanner J. Shelton, claims that he just put the kids that he's babysitting down for the night when he heard laughter. It was 10.30 p.m. At first, he was annoyed, as it was the third time he had to tell the kids to get to bed. As the noises were coming from the baby's room, he assumed the other kids had woken up to check on their sister. So he checked the baby monitor and he saw this. 
What is that in the top left corner? Looks like a hand reaching in the baby's crib. Redditor MXGI Wiz writes on Reddit, After this video, the infant was kidnapped apparently. His caption was, I'm never babysitting again. Though I think it would be on the news if that happened, and this man would certainly be a suspect, but that doesn't stop people from hypothesizing. Redditor mmocker 98 adds some intrigue to this story, recounting that there's an even stranger video on this guy's YouTube channel. Mocker writes, I believe the one with the woman, video number five I think, could possibly be fake, but what if it's not? What if this is all real? It's giving me this weird gut feeling, and I can't find too much information. You know what they say, always trust your gut. What is your gut telling you about this one? The Adventures of Hamad Salhai has the keys to an apartment that is slowly being taken over by a powerful jinn. Once inside, he begins a ceremony with candles. I don't know if this is a summoning or a cleansing ritual, but I do know that what happens as a result is beyond creepy. First of all, the flame from the candle remains completely horizontal and still. <laughs> then his flashlight flickers with paranormal energy and the ceremony kicks into full swing. Huh? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء a door closes by itself and when he opens the door back up the ghost avoids a confrontation again بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله he relights the candle and goes inside the room to see what the ghost is trying to hide. These pictures adorn the walls, perhaps victims of the person whose ghost now haunts this apartment building. Or maybe just family members. He is pondering something out loud that I bet would give us more information about this room, so please translate if you can. <laughs> a shadow figure in the corner makes him drop his only source of light, and now he is left in the darkness in the same room as the terrifying phantom figure. He runs out of the room fast and grabs a flashlight, no longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at the moment, but it won't let him leave so he picks up the candles once more. <laughs> This is what finally freaks him out. I think a ghost touches his shoulder, but help me translate to better understand. It's a rainy day in Bradford, Pennsylvania, and a YouTuber named Bulldog is with his girlfriend in the backyard. They are taking random videos and talking about nothing in particular when they encounter something that makes them think they are not so alone after all. Whoa, that was weird. I just saw something run across the screen. Liar. Some sort of smoke or mist appears to briefly transform into the shape of a person, taking a few brisk steps and then fully dissipates. Bulldog says it looked like someone who is running, and I agree that it does resemble the upper torso and shoulders of someone in motion. With that said, it looks to me like the figure may also be lacking a head. When Alexandra went exploring an abandoned schoolhouse in Ukraine, she never expected to go viral. On the first floor is a discarded tracksuit outside of a hole in the floor that looks like it could serve as the final resting place for many. А вот это было разве? Нет, это не было открыто. Здесь все было закрыто, здесь ровно пол. Там какой-то проход дальше, что ли. Ого, он как долго тянется вообще, посмотри. Да, я вижу. Он прям уходит вообще. 
They also find a green barrel that's full of an unknown chemical. They can't read the faded label, but maybe a subscriber in Russia will know more about this. Да вот бочонок. По идее, не знаю, что тут написано, невозможно прочитать сейчас. It could be acid. I've heard of people dissolving the past away in barrels full of acid just like this one. Across from a green barrel are footprints, and across from the footprints are pictures of people. Ладно, пойдем на второй этаж тогда. Это ты? Есть кто? Alexandra pauses at the stairs. Мы с миром пришли, Господи. Надо нас пугать. На приколе что ли, блядь? Пойдем, пока. I think this video is 100% real because Alexandra does this thing some people do when they're really scared where they talk to themselves out loud to keep from completely breaking down. Так быстро выходим отсюда, это просто великолепно, потому что я сейчас реально насру себе в штаны и все, на этом все закончится. А вот вон мой великолепный, прекрасный выход. На. With that said, I'm not sure this video is paranormal. The noise could be someone staying here. A scary person who I'm sure you and I would want nothing to do with. A man who countless others likewise wish they had never seen. The security camera footage taken from inside a Reddit user's home doesn't seem to be anything unusual. That is, not at first. Although the house looks as peaceful and as quiet as can be in just a matter of seconds, something both eerily mysterious and also quite creepy occurs that the original uploader cannot explain. So I think this is, for starters, what they're talking about. It doesn't exactly look like an orb, but it's kind of got like a trail that it's leaving behind. What the heck is that? That is so weird. It's just sort of leaving behind a trail of itself. You kind of just see it's like it's the same shape just sort of over and over again, leaving a trail behind it as it flies across the screen. And then at the very end, just sort of completely drops to the ground. Even though this kind of video could probably be described as a little more unsettling than straight up scary, it is definitely not the kind of footage you would want to find on your security camera upon waking up and reviewing whatever was filmed while you were asleep. The strange floating white object almost looks like it could be some sort of spinning battery powered toy, but I feel like if that were the case, the parents would ask their kid if it was their toy and the mystery would be solved, but since the uploader is still baffled by the footage, I think it's safe to say that it was not a toy. Whatever it is remains a mystery. Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents, in fact, claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. This shift continues before his very eyes until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left. If you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lawrence struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video, and you will see it now has a very deep, ceased brow, a sharp, angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. 
I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again, if it's fake, then I don't know how they did it either. The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. A devious Dora doll goes exploring this house in a freaky, paranormal way. The moving figurine is caught on camera doing some really weird things that probably weren't advertised on the back of the box. Creepy stuff like this. According to the uploader of this video, there were no batteries in this doll when Dora turns to face the camera like she's been caught. You must pay attention. But as one person pointed out, you can see the doll slowly turning its head for about 13 seconds before it snaps. The little girl is too busy singing to notice what's going on. Or maybe she's used to it happening by now. Then again, maybe there is somebody behind the door holding the doll in such a way that we can't see their hand. This video was taken at night in a parking garage somewhere in West India. A woman was apparently acting normal until she was suddenly attacked by what some bystanders later described as a ghost. Watch this part and tell me if you think she is having delusions or fighting off a spiritual possession. Try to translate if possible too, please. <laughs> I did not think much of this video until I noticed what could be a strange paranormal disturbance. Some kind of fast-moving white objects repeatedly appear during the harshest times of her struggle. Like here, for instance. <coughs> Poor camera quality makes it hard to tell if these are some kind of spirit orbs or just insects. If these are insects and nothing more, I find it weird that there are only just a few of them and how they only seem to appear during key moments of the video when she is in the most distress. This unidentified flying object over Madrid, Spain looks like it was taken straight out of a video game. The uploading YouTube channel asked the question, what mind would design such a craft? Let's take a look. Any guesses? It looks to me like a helmet, concave and hollowed out on one side, and it keeps on spinning. Now listen closely. As it falls through the air, a high-pitched alarm is heard. This goes on for a minute and a half until it swirls off to the right and out of sight. Some in the comments think it's a balloon, others think it's an extraterrestrial invasion. I'm on the fence about what this is, but I'm leaning towards a peek into the fourth dimension. He hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind, much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Archie gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over five years is in fact, going way too far. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.